hello hello so I thought I'd come back um, I'm just I've been working on this um, little project and I just thought I would come back and do the last tag with you it, there's no decisions to make so um, you know it should be pretty straightforward um, I just thought I would do it on film and then I can show you the finished article um, how it came out so um, what I did was I made some kind of journaling cards but they're not really journaling cards really because you won't be able to journal on the back um, so I made these little cards and I used the same technique I used a different embossing folder did I? no I used the same embossing folder um, and then I, I ran it through the embossing machine outside of the of the embossing folder to kind of flatten it so I don't know if anyone has ever done this before I've not seen anyone do it but it's kind of like um, pressed embossing it's embossed and then pressed so that's that's what that is and I made three of those to go into the pockets so um, this is a little quote for the back this one is William Shakespeare it says when I saw you I fell in love and you smiled because you knew so I'm just kind of just going to finish this this off now like I said I pretty much know exactly what I'm going to do so there's no no decision making it's just an opportunity for me to kind of just give you a little idea of how I made the tags for this and um, then you can um, ooh, and then you can see the finished product this one as well the outside it has a really nice effect it looks very vintage but not too over the top embossed I really like it I really do so I'm gonna just to finish it the way I have the others So it took a long time for that video um, to upload, a very long time. All the two of them obviously had to be two parts. Um, it would have taken another hour and a half if I'd have tried to, at least, if I'd have tried to edit that into one video. Oh, I've lost my glue. Oh, do you know what I've lost? I've lost my tear ruler. I love that thing. I've only had it like five minutes and I've lost it. It's got to be around here somewhere. Um, I was hoping it was going to turn up in the whole desk move yesterday, um, but it didn't. So I think what's probably happened is it's ended up in a in a pile of paper that I've put away. So it's probably in between, you know, some um, what do we call it? Scrapbook paper pads or something like that. It's going to be in between something. So this is the back, which is why I said there's no journaling space. This is going to be the front. So there, I haven't. I know. I know roughly what I'm doing because I've done them. I've done the other two, and obviously this one needs to match. But it shouldn't take me too long and actually what I've just remembered is I don't think I remember to make the image ah and what I decided was um, Mrs Cog has the most amazing wedding um, wedding kit um, so I have used that for obviously so there we go that's going to look quite stunning there No sewing, obviously, because I need things to the last minute. But this has taken me most of the day. <laughs> With everything, you know. Even uploading the video. 
and you have to shuffle the mouse every now and then or the computer goes to sleep and then it doesn't upload the video. You have to start from scratch. It's not coming out very quickly. There we go. Let's get this. Well, it's fairly close to the top or closer to the top than the bottom. There we go, that's that. So what I do need to decide, and I kind of think I already know, um, which lace I was going to use. I was hoping to use that one, but I still haven't quite put that image far enough up, have I? Maybe, maybe, maybe being me, I don't know. Maybe this one. I've used this already though, so I don't really want to use this one again. I can scoot that up a little bit. Yep, yeah, I'll scoot up a little bit. Brilliant. There we go. Problem solved. Problem solved. That's a bit better. So I'm going to pop this lace. The, oh, I already had a piece cut and inked um, from something I was going to use it for earlier. It's a bit longer, but I'd already inked that piece because I was going to use it for something else. Could have used that. It will get used. This is some of that gorgeous vintage lace that I got from the local antique shop. Love it. Right, so what I do when I'm putting lace on is I just kind of pop it alongside the tag so I know roughly the height that I need to put the bead of glue. I'm sure everyone has got their own little technique for this and I am going to run a bead down the side and roughly a little, little, very little bead where the flower is going to go. Just pop that down. What I also like to do is I like to turn it over and see how much is hanging because that tells me whether I've got the lace straight. I do that on the edge of book pages too when, I've, when I'm adding trim to a journal page. I always turn it over and look at it from the back because it doesn't always notice if it's not straight from the front. There we go. I can't put too much on these because um, they'll make that envelope too bulky and it's already it's already a little bit on the puffy side. So I can't really add any more. I did think about making a little booklet but not going to happen. So that is my last tag for my trifold envelope. So I'm going to show you, obviously you've seen this already. Um, what I did do was um, kind of embellish it a little bit more on the inside. I'm hoping that's in, in shot. So I put some trim along here and along the bottom I put another piece of that lace. Oh, and I need to apologise because I obviously didn't catch when part one ended. I was still talking and I said, you know, we were pick it, I picked a lace. So you missed on that, me making a decision. So lucky you. <laughs> um, and I'd already put one piece of lace on and I was still putting the second piece of lace on when I thought the camera stopped, but it obviously stopped before that. So... Um, I'd, I'd then stuck all the lace by the time part two had started, but I didn't know that at the time. So I've popped some lace, little um, gems here. Um, this is the first, because it's going to go that way up. <laughs> so this is the first um, card. I'm not going to turn it over because that's where my message is. Um, they're not exactly easy to get in and out, but they're not going to come in and out very often. Um, this little card here, just to pop in these little pockets. Um, it's just a general little tag shape, it's just a bit stumpier. Um, and again, I've done that pressed embossing 
um, technique. A uh, little bit of music paper and it says wedding day and a little bit of trim with a piece of bling. And in here, this one is today's date. Obviously, I'm not last minute, obviously. <laughs> so that one goes in the second pocket. This is the second tag, um, another gorgeous Mrs. Cog image. And on the back of this, it says, being deeply loved by someone gives you strength while loving someone deeply gives you courage. And I couldn't put the name of who made who wrote that quote because um, I couldn't actually find it. Um, well, I didn't have to, I didn't look very hard to be honest because it's obviously for a gift. So um, I didn't do that. I just found the quote and used it, it, but it didn't have a name. And then this is the final tag in our third pocket. And like I said, they're not exactly easy to get in and out, but um, they won't be coming in and out very often, I wouldn't imagine. There we go. So that is um, the finished trifold envelope. Um, inspired by Gail and Sabrina. So thank you ladies for your inspiration. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to attach some seam binding on the inside here. I'm not going to do that on film. Um, and then that's going to be used as a closure. Um, but it will, it will close. Um, and if I haven't made this piece of seam binding long enough, oh yeah, that's fine. Um, so it should hopefully wrap round twice and it will wrap round fairly close to the top so you'll still see the embellishment. So that is it. It's done. Um, thanks for watching. Um, for those of you that have already commented, I, I will get around to replying, but I've been um, still working on this. So uh, thanks again. And um, this would obviously be a little bit bulky to pop into a journal, um, but I'm very happy with it. So thank you very much. I will speak to you soon. Bye.